Greetings, Spanish Orphans and Retrogrades. 90-year-old Cardinal Zen has been arrested by the Chinese on trumped-up charges. We all know what, what the real uh, underlying cause of the charge are, notwithstanding the pretext. The pretext is foreign collusion. He is part of the real, authentic Chinese church, not the communist Chinese party-sponsored Catholic church. And... So he's been arrested about 12 hours ago. This is just hitting American media right now. 12 hours in and we still have not heard hide nor hair from Pope Francis. I'm going to read to you from this uh, National Review article. Cardinal Zen on the road to martyrdom. Will Pope Francis please say something? This is Catherine Jean Lopez at National Review. A secular publication is having to get involved here in this embarrassment where a pope does not even stand up on behalf of one of his cardinals who has been persecuted, now prosecuted, and by the Chinese Communist Party. It begins by saying, 90-year-old, 90-year-old Cardinal Joseph Zen, Emeritus Bishop of Hong Kong, was arrested yesterday on trumped-up national security charges after Chinese media implied that something like this would happen. This is how the CCP works. It's not even a multi-headed hydra, it's all one head. The official Chinese news tells you what they're going to do before they do it. So they were insinuating all of last week that Zen was in real trouble for being a Catholic, not being part of the CCP Catholic party, but the real underground church in China. We've been talking about this for two years, at least, two and a half years. Raymond Arroyo has had great coverage on World Over consistently. The Pillar this morning quotes some of the worst of the Holy See's bureaucracy. Archbishop Paul Gallagher, a diplomat and the Secretariat of State there, said in the last year that obviously Hong Kong is the object of concern for us. Lebanon is a place where we perceive that we can make a positive contribution. We do not perceive that in Hong Kong. That's from earlier in the year. What did he mean? That the Vatican, remember, entered into this corrupt deal with the CCP, and essentially acknowledges the CCP Catholic Church, the fake Catholic Church, as the one there in China, instead of Cardinal Zen's true Catholic Church, the underground church in China. And now he's been arrested, and we have not heard anything from Pope Francis. There needs to be a popular outcry. Pope Francis, please say something to Vatican uh, uh, trade partners, the CCP. The truth is the truth. Cardinal Zen has been living his life ready to be martyred. Not only is silence perceived to be tacit support for the evil ways democracy advocates uh, and the church are, are, are being treated, but what a betrayal of everyone who is speaking out and putting their lives on the line for freedom in Hong Kong. Okay. Pope Francis, who is supposedly, Catherine Jean Lopez notes, a voice for the persecuted, throughout this pontificate, if we're to buy the popular narrative, at least of the first half of the pontificate, uh, should stand up for Brother Bishop, uh, College of Cardinals uh, advisor, Cardinal Joseph Zen, who is such a holy man. He's a 90-year-old frail man. This is an outrage, and I hope all of you are outraged that this has happened. And it's an outrage also that this happened technically yesterday in the Far East there, without hide nor hair from Pope Francis. Not a ton of analysis to be done at this point, aside from this is what the evil CCP does. They arrest political dissenters. Cardinal Zen is, in some sense, the greatest threat to the CCP. Uh, High-ranking, highest-ranking uh, Catholic Chinese prelate who refuses to truckle, who refuses to uh, kneel, to the fake Communist Party there in China. So as this story breaks, keep your eye on the news. It's going to develop more and more and more. And this is just hitting American media now. What you need to do is write your bishops. Make sure your bishops know that this is not acceptable. We know about it here. And we're not going to stand for it. And Pope Francis shouldn't stand for it either. His trade partners, the Chinese, are officially now, officially now, prosecuting Cardinal Zen, and they've been saying they're going to do this for a while. Saber-rattling, non-verbally, for the last uh, months and years. 
officially saber-rattling verbally over the last week or so, and now he's gone and been arrested. Pray for Cardinal Zen, everybody. Let's pray uh, in Our Father uh, for this most holy man in the church, somewhere between white and red martyrdom, seems to be his fate. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Maybe say St. Michael, too. Yeah, well, let's, yeah same, same deal. <laughs> St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for Cardinal Joseph Zen. St. Mary, seed of wisdom, mother of God, pray for Cardinal Zen. St. Joseph, protector and scourge of demons, pray for Cardinal Zen. God bless you all and keep your eye on this story as it develops. God bless you, parish orphans and retrogrades. Deus